Let's talk about defense drone optimization in FTL. And my first tip for you is don't deploy your defense drone until you actually need it. And there's two reasons for this. Uh, the first one is that you may be able to stop the missile from firing by shooting it with your weapons. So you see here the missile has gone down. We didn't need to use a drone part. I know I have 999 of them here, but in a real game you wouldn't have that many. Now if we swap over to Mantis B real quick, that obviously doesn't apply because even with the boarding drone into weapons, that was kind of lucky, it's not going to do a single point of damage uh, before this actually fires. Or at least if it does, uh, it's going to take the heavy laser offline, let's see. You see? Missile is fired. So the previous reason didn't apply, but it still makes sense to delay deploying your defense drone. And that's because the heavy laser could have shot it down. Uh, when it's not deployed, it can't be shot down. So now we definitely have it available for this missile. Um, and now the next heavy laser shot could potentially hit us. Uh, this is actually a really good example. Um, looking at this, the shield could block it, but we do have 15% evasion. If we get that dodge, the heavy laser might pass across our shield and hit the defense drone. I think it'll actually just miss it, but you get the idea. Uh, there's an increased chance of your defense drone getting shot down if you have evasion. So what we should do here is drop our engines to zero and make sure that hits so we don't get the drone shot down. Now what I've just done there isn't even quite optimal, at least for hard mode, and I'll show you why. Defense drones aren't perfect, especially on the player ships. Now there's a few different reasons that they can actually miss a missile, uh, but by far the most common one is something known as the drone targeting bug. Um, this is an area to the right of the screen here where the defense drone simply will not fire upon any incoming missiles. The same would apply to anti-drones, they don't fire upon offensive drones that are in this part of the screen. Now, this area does vary slightly by ship, it's affected by the ship's origin coordinates, I believe. Um, but uh, in any case, it's this general part of the screen. I will link to a uh, Reddit post that explains it quite well and gives you images to visualize it. Um, but any missile approaching the shields or the drone system from the right hand side of the screen here or the, you know anywhere in this box uh, is not going to get shot down by the defense drone. And I'll just wait until this actually happens so you can see it in action. And there we go. So you see the defense drone did actually shoot at the missile, but it only shot at it uh, basically as it was hitting the room. So there's no way that it's going to succeed. And this is a huge problem on Mantis B, uh, because now uh, this heavy laser can just go to town on us. If it had been drones, then the missile can go to town on us, um, because we're lacking a critical system either way. And that's not the worst of it even. If you are playing on hard difficulty specifically, there is a priority targeting system, uh, which means that 25% of incoming shots are going to a system on a priority list. And systems are put on that list based on certain conditions. Uh, I won't go through the whole thing, I will link to a Reddit post that explains it quite well. Um, but shields and drones are currently the only priority systems on this ship. Uh, the only other one that we could actually uh, put on the priority list would be oxygen, but we'd have to drop our oxygen below 50%, and that's really not a good idea on Mantis B. Anyway, the conditions for shields and drones being on the priority targeting list are that the system has power. That's it, it just has to have power in the system. Uh, so we can actually turn this uh, to our advantage slightly by turning off our drones and uh, even our shields. In this case, uh, we know the heavy laser is not going to fire for a little while. Wait until the missile fires, or in fact lights up green would be enough. And then we turn on the defense drone. Uh, also, don't forget to turn on your shields. Now, 
Because there was no power in these systems at the time that the missile fired, uh, then they were not on the smart targeting list. In fact, nothing was on the smart targeting list. And that means that 25% that, uh, of uh, shots uh, will roll back to uh, a random system. Um, so, of course, it can still hit shields or drones. It's just somewhat less likely. And you see that the shield is up for the heavy laser. Now, there is one more thing um, that you can consider doing in order to uh, optimize this, uh, which is to keep the defense drone in a good place. Um, because we know that this area here is uh, not, well, this area here is not seen. Um, and while you're not going to be able to stop a missile approaching from here hitting shields, uh, you might be able to stop it hitting weapons or engines. But if the drone is all the way over here, by the time it reacts to that shot, uh, it might not actually make it. So you may want to keep your defense drone uh, nearer the front of the ship, um, or maybe nearer the halfway point, uh, but not so much around the back. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, at least you can't always make that work with all the other things that you're trying to manage with your power. It takes a while for the drone to get around the ship. But in this case, we could wait. Uh, I know I should be firing the boarding drone, whatever, uh, until the missile fires, and we can still have the drone over here. And then we can turn it off again and have it over here. That's a little bit better than having it over here, I think. Let's take a look at the Defense Drone Mark II now. Uh, one common complaint about this drone is that it can get distracted by harmless laser shots that would just bounce off your shield layer and then fail to shoot down the missile that you actually wanted it to shoot. So a lot of people think this is just worse than a Defense Drone Mark I, and it really isn't. It is actually a stronger defense overall. Uh, the main downside to it is it does cost a bit more. It's more expensive to buy uh, and it uses more power. But depending on how you're getting it, as it were, um, that cost can be quite reasonable or it can be too expensive. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's boot it up. I have uh, this ship over here with an Artemis missile and a basic laser. Um, these have the same firing time, so they'll always be in sync. I've also sped them up quite a lot. These are reloading like every four seconds or something, just for convenience. So let's see what happens if we just let the drone run. Okay, it managed to shoot down the missile. Managed to shoot down the missile. And again, that's three so far. And then it failed. Okay, we dodged that. Now, I think what's happening there is that once uh, a projectile gets close enough, uh, if the defense drone hasn't already started targeting it, it won't fire. I'm not quite sure exactly on all the details of the behavior of these drones. It is a bit weird. Um, but one thing you should know is that they do actually prioritize targets, and in particular, they will always shoot a missile in preference to a laser. The drone has a larger field of view than you do as a player. So you can see this part of the screen and the drone can see more. It can see beyond the edges of your screen. I believe it can see uh, a projectile as soon as it actually spawns on your side. So you see over here the projectile is traveling this way. This is on their side of the screen. It's going to travel out the screen and then uh, very shortly respawn on our side. But it uh, appears in a place that we can't see. Now, I said that the defense drone will target the missile uh, instead of the laser. But the laser is faster. So um, it's still going to shoot down the laser if the missile hasn't spawned yet. Let's just let it run a bit more. And again, we have that problem. This is basically a worst case scenario for the defense drone too. You see it can miss quite a lot. This is why people complain about it. And it's just staring at the missile. I think that's because it had already got too close before it started targeting. I'm not quite sure how that works.
What if we try to micromanage the drone to make it shoot the missile instead? Uh, by the way, I've gone back to the normal timings for these weapons here. Uh, so your first inclination might be to just turn it off and uh, wait for the laser to hit. Um, or at least wait for the missile to be on the screen. And we could actually drop our engines here to uh, make sure the laser hits our shields and is no longer a valid target. So we do this, and then we turn the defense drone on, and it shoots the missile. It's pretty good. Let's do it again. Wait for it. I'm going to start cutting between these, by the way, just to speed it up. Turn it on. It worked. Let's do it again. Worked again. And now it failed. Let's keep trying. Worked. Worked again. And it failed again. And now they're out of missiles. So that method was pretty successful, but not completely successful. We're looking at maybe, I don't know, an 80% success rate or so. Not bad, but it could be improved. So what we saw in the last attempt was that uh, a lot of the time the defense drone can react quickly enough to shoot down the missile when you do it that way, but not always. Um, and what seems to be going on here is that the drone has an internal kind of warm-up period. So the trick to using this drone properly is to keep it warm, keep it online. So we're going to keep it powered like this. And then we wait for them to fire and then pause quite carefully. So I'm leaving it online as long as possible and that way it stays warmed up. And I can wait and see the turret swivel um, or I could just guess it based on when I know the projectiles are coming. And I turn it off now. It will start to cool down but it's still going to stay warm enough for us to use it. Uh, let's drop the engines again. Wait for it to hit and then turn on. Now, when you turn on the drone, it lights up green initially, but immediately it will go red, like that. And then it goes through its animation where this color is changing to indicate when it's ready. But that color, now that we've messed with the, the power micro a bit, that color does not reflect its actual readiness. It's more ready than it looks. So just watch, it's starting to go green, but it's still like orange. Uh, and it's already shooting. And that's how you do it. Uh, so we want to keep the drone warmed up, we want to keep it powered as late as possible without actually shooting the laser. And I'm going to start cutting between them now. See it's swiveling, turn it off. Turn it on again. It's swiveling, turn it off. Turn it on. I actually can't see this one, so I'm going to turn it off. It's hidden behind the pause button.
And there you go, we shot down every single missile out of all 10. If you use this method to micro the drone, it is almost 100% reliable. The same principle applies with asteroid fields and the Defense Drone Mark 1. Uh, so this can get distracted by asteroids when you want it to shoot the missile. And we're just going to let it run here and see what happens. It got distracted. One thing you can see here, by the way, is that defense drones are not tremendously effective against asteroids um, because the asteroids tend to hit um, the shield layer before the defense drone actually takes them out, or, or at least quite often they are. They can be good, they're just not completely reliable. Another failure. And we saw just there actually that it did prioritize a missile over an asteroid when they were both on screen at the same time. And that's pretty good, it's not nearly as, as troublesome as when we had the Artemis and the basic laser. Um, we got two missiles come through out of ten, so an 80% success rate in that example. We could instead try to use the same technique that we saw with the Defense Drone 2. Um, it's not going to be quite as reliable because it's harder to know when the asteroids are coming, they're more random. Um, the laser was very predictable in its timing. But we can try. So we know the missile's firing and then I'm just going to pause really carefully and try to see when this swivels. So if it swivels too early, I know that's an asteroid and I'm going to try to hold on and wait for it. Um, oh, this is a tough one. I actually think I can wait. Even if it is the missile. That's an asteroid. So now I turn it on. Oh, I better get the right one. I've got too many drones here. Yeah, so you can wait longer than you think. I'll do the same thing here. Wait until I actually see it. Yeah, hard to say. Maybe if that had been heading for that room, um, that would have been a mistake, perhaps. I think the drone would have targeted the asteroid first, though. Okay, the missile is definitely on screen now, so we can uh, turn the drone on. Uh, the other thing to know about asteroids is they come in clusters. Um, so when you get used to that uh, timing, you can somewhat predict when there are going to be asteroids and when there aren't. Also, you can use uh, asteroids on the enemy shields as an indicator. If uh, you're in that rhythm where they're getting hit first, um, and then you get hit, then you know that you're going to have one coming in for you as well. Uh, but we see the missile is on the screen here. You can see missiles underneath the enemy ship sometimes. Uh, so we leave the defense drone on.
So there's an asteroid. I'm not quite sure where the missile is. I want to see it. Oh, there's the missile. I should have seen that earlier. But we still hit it. You see, the drone was already starting to target that asteroid, but as soon as the missile was available as a target, it changed its mind. Feels like maybe this is a period that's empty of asteroids. Not completely sure though. Okay. Mm, well, we just had an asteroid. Well, that was close. Again, I'm going to turn it off. I think it's a bit safer. It's hard to say for sure. Um, is this going to destroy the drone? I think it just misses. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well there's, there's an interesting little mechanic that you might not be aware of. When a drone is destroyed, it has a 0 0.75 second exploding animation. Um, and during that time it can still shoot and it did in fact prioritize the missile. So that's one of the reasons that I turned it on there. Uh, I am going to be short a drone, so I will just stick one up now. Here's the last missile. Oh, that was a slight mistake, but I got away with it. And there you go, we shot down all 10 missiles. I'm not saying that will be completely reliable, it is more difficult to judge with the asteroids, uh, but you can kind of see how it works. What if you have multiple defense drones and you want to use them to shoot down uh, missiles that are arriving at almost the same time? Um, now in this case it's double Artemis, uh, but it might be the flagship missiles. That's a bit more reasonable because at least the flagship missiles are slightly staggered. Um, in general, I wouldn't recommend fielding multiple defense drones. They're not really that much better than just a single defense drone. Um, so they tend not to be worth the drone slot or the scrap. Uh, that being said, you know, maybe you get one for free, who knows. Let's try it out. Uh, well, these actually spawned in perfect locations. Uh, they're exactly opposite each other. So if they weren't, I would depower one and uh, let them separate just to get better coverage. Uh, and also we can to some extent see where they're pointing. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is just let them run. What you'll see is that they tend to target the same missile because they'll target a missile as soon as it's on screen. And they're really not very effective. Okay, so in all five volleys, one of the two missiles got through, meaning that the second defense drone was useless. Unfortunately, this isn't one that you can micro very well. Um, I'm going to give it a go, but uh, I'm not expecting to shoot them down at all reliably. Let's find out. And this is on an NG cruiser, which is the best uh, ship in the game for uh, handling missiles with defense drones. Oh, 
I'm watching the drones to see them react and then I'll take a decision about which one I want to turn off. Okay, this is swiveling upwards. So I think I want this one to handle it. Yeah, now turn this on. Oh, actually no, 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 don't turn it on yet. Now turn it on. Okay, so we got one. That's an improvement already. This one is already reacting. I'm going to let that one keep turning. You see they're still facing uh, the same way. They're still trying to shoot the same missile, I think. So I guess I turn this one off. Can you make it? Not quite. That one has just snapped. Is this one swiveling to the same missile again? Oh, wow. Okay, that's really interesting. So you see, this one was so desperate to shoot that same missile um, that it actually shot before the turret was ready. That's something to remember. They can do that. So that was a slight mistake. can't actually see this one at all, so I'm going to turn... Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so we've got another one. That's two. Last one. Turn this off. Too slow. Okay. Two out of five rather than zero out of five. Slightly better, but uh, still not great. By the way, one really silly optimization that you can use if you really want to, or, or just for the fun of it, um, it's kind of fun to know about, is that uh, if you jump from uh, a beacon with your defense drones in a certain position, then uh, they will reappear in that same position when you respawn them. So take a look at this. Um, we've got one here and one here, this diagonal line there. And when I respawn them, they're in exactly the same places. Actually, I never noticed that until uh, making this video, and it's given me an idea for how I could potentially use that for another optimization. But that will have to wait until the next video, as uh, this one has gone on rather long. Maybe see if you can guess what I have in mind here. Um, here's a clue. Look at the direction that the turret is pointing. It's not just the position of the drones, it's also the direction that is saved. Um, so we respawn again, and they're pointing in the same direction. How could you use that? Um, I'll let you know in the next video, or maybe you have uh, an idea of your own and let me know. That would be really interesting. Uh, and that's all for now.